Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy, and this is one of the interesting questions that I have basically uh, read in uh, Quora. That what is the highest salary a software tester, automation or anything else? I mean, it can be manual also can get in India. Right? This is related to India, but I'm gonna talk. I mean, this is very well much relatable in other like uh, uh, region like uh, USA as well as in Europe. Right? So let's discuss about it and uh, let's discuss about what is the highest salary a software tester can. Get. All right, so let's get started. Uh, so first of all, I think this answer is given by the uh, very famous person, and he's like mentor to me, which is uh, Pradeep. And uh, if we talk about a here, right? Uh, let's do one thing. Let's note it down. He's saying that uh, if you are a test lead, right? Let me make like this. Yeah, if you are a set test lead, right? You can get uh, up to te- three. Uh, I mean, thirty-five to forty lakhs per annum. Uh, this is in INR, of course. Uh, so he's saying that uh, there are test leads which are getting paid like thirty to uh, thirty to six lakhs and other things, right? And if you are a test architect, right, you are getting like fifty lakhs per annum. And I know this who's basically paid in lakhs and other things, right? And again, uh, if we talk about VP in testing, again he's saying that the it basically peaks at fifty lakhs per annum. and even if you are a funded startup or something else it basically nutshell it's basically getting peaked to 50 lakhs per annum which is i think uh uh a very decent package especially in india right and let me talk about my thoughts pradeep is somewhat right as well as somewhat wrong i would say and uh, i'm going to talk about like a couple of examples which uh, so i have seen up uh, right now people in qa especially the qa role which are still getting 66 66 to 70 lakhs plus in qa uh, this is my personal experience that i have seen uh, but again they are actually not in the exact qa role because qa role basically ends nearly ends at a test architect after test architect level uh, what happens is that after even if you become vp of testing or a qa i mean uh, if you have as like principal as that or something some other role like principal as that it again it's qa role but uh, after that you will be handling the man- kind of you will be either working in a managerial role that i am going to discuss about i think uh, this one basically they are uh, let me put it here so they are either in a management role or a kind of a principal engineer role where they are basically helping out and say or they are working as a consultant rather than a full uh, i mean as a tester role that you think about right so for example you are when you have started as your fresher as well as whenever you are working as a test lead or test architect right you are basically diving into the software testing world right but now since you are at kind of at a very senior level where you are just mostly working in management or a principal level then you are not into that role right but of course you can get it like more than 70 Seventy lakhs per annum, right? So that you can do that in QA. So eventually, the path here basically says that what is the, if we talk about highest salary? Definitely, I would somewhat agree with the uh, Pradeep that it basically saturate out around the fifty, sixty lakhs per annum in India with INR. And if you want to go more, you have to uh, either switch to a management role where where you can you can, you will basically become a CTO, VP, or very higher management role. in the startup or a company or either you become a, like a, any principal engineer who will basically handling all the releases or you can become a release handler or somewhere around basically you you eventually are switching your role from the traditional testing man testing ones so that's what uh, that i have learned right so i hope that makes sense and uh, this is actually very uh, this is just to give you uh, a high point uh, i mean people are asking about this right what is the highest salary i can get because this is a very common question among the freshers where they basically want to know what is the highest thing that i can uh, what is the highest salary that i can get uh, to uh, if i basically join software testing world right i am basically uh, so i have like opportunity in software testing uh, software devs so software del- i mean in devops so what is the highest salary that can i get in they want to basically compare all these three roles right so this is exactly what uh, i think this will open up a small uh, point in your brain right yes you can achieve uh, a lot in qa also so yeah that's it all about it and thanks a lot i think that will that makes sense for this and 
uh, this is my argument and my thought on this and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what are your thoughts in the comment below i'll be happy to reply all right thanks a lot and i'll see you in the next video bye